Hi everyone, welcome to J&D Gardens. We're here in Garden South today and we have a quick episode today for you of dealing with garden critters. Now if you're anything like us, you like putting out your fall decorations, things like uh, pumpkins and mums and kale cabbage and these great big corn stalks. Now if you've actually ever put out these corn stalks before, you know how tempting these are for the four-legged critters. And this time I'm talking about squirrels. They just love getting all over these. I'll show you that in a second. Now, we're going to show you a real simple way to keep the squirrels and uh, other critters off your corn and uh, some of the other uh, fall plants. But this year we actually left this a little defenseless because we wanted to catch the little critters uh, in action. So check out this video. Do you believe what those little rascals do? Let me tell you, they were all over this and uh, we actually only showed you a little bit of the footage. We had it for a while, but it was good to show you uh, what they do when you're not around. But let me tell you, they just uh, totally took it apart. I mean, look at this corn on the cob. I mean, isn't this crazy? They pick it clean and they did that. And the worst part about it is they don't just take it and run away they actually take it and they leave a mess everywhere there's all kinds of little cuttings and everything and just digging at everything they just make a big mess out of it and it's really kind of a shame because we try to keep this up till around thanksgiving and i don't know it's uh, looking pretty rough but if you do do it and you're having this problems there's a simple way uh to keep them off and that's by using mothballs see the smell of the mothballs actually deter the uh the squirrels and uh other kind of uh critters but you don't just want to add the mothballs inside the corn stalk because uh you know they're gonna kind of be falling around they're gonna be moving around the wind starts knocking around so there's a real simple way of creating a little uh mothball uh ornaments if you will and you can actually hang them in different areas around the uh around your corn stalks or your pumpkins or anything so let me show you how we do that. To make your mothball ornaments, you're going to need some mothballs, round, a drill with a uh, drill bit, uh, small, doesn't matter what size. Uh, you can use some kind of string. I like to use the fishing line and a pair of scissors. Uh, you may or may not want to wear gloves for this, but I'm going to pull a couple out is to go very slow. Mothballs are very brittle. So what you'll want to do is just grab one, make sure you don't see any cracks in it, and slowly, let's try to do this on, so I can do this on the camera. Key is to go very slow. See if the camera will show that. Uh, there you go, you can see right through it. So, this is a good one. You can go right down on it. Make sure you don't drill through your table. I'm gonna come back this way. And you're bound to break a few, but that's okay. 
begins to grow very slowly. The speed could be fast, but you want to push it through slowly. Oh, there you go. Three for three. I think <laughs> that's pretty good. Okay, then next thing you want to do is just grab some fishing line. Just get an idea of how long you want to make it. Cut it. Uh, where are the ones that I did? Oh, excuse me. Oh, here's one. Okay. So you just want to thread it through. That's it. You got your mothball ornament and you can tie whatever knot you want in it. I just bring the two sides around. That's it. Then this will allow you to hang it on the tree, or on the, <laughs> not the tree, on the uh, corn stalk or the pumpkin, whatever you want to do. Oop. Okay, let's do another one. Again, it's really straightforward. It does smell a little bit. Okay, that's two. Let's do one more. That's the one I did. Where's the other one? Oh, here it is. Later, you can make them as long as short as you want. And that's it. There are your mothball ornaments. Sure to keep the squirrels away. So there you go. You have your mothball ornament. Now, of course, you don't have to uh, go through the trouble of drilling them through. If you can find another way of hanging them, that's great. Uh, the whole point is you just don't want to bury them in there because they will move around. Wind will knock them down or anything. So eventually, you know, with enough um, rain, these will uh, deteriorate, but it's going to take a little while. But uh, you'll see how this actually works, uh, it, uh, how it'll keep them away. So. What I'll do is I'll grab one of these. I want to be careful. I don't want to drop any of these. These here. And uh, make the loop as big as you want. Just find a good area. Probably want to do it by any corn, which I don't have that much left. Because <laughs> the little guy's got it. But, you know, just uh, find a spot. Put it in. And just hang it there. Same thing. Just like I said, any... And I think I got a piece of corn right here. So just find a spot that you can put it. Or, you know, if you don't want to loop it, just tie it around there. That's fine too. But you'll see, it really uh, keeps away. Hopefully we can, uh, by the time I'm ready to post this video, <laughs> we'll get a, a video of the little rascal coming near and then running the other way. Uh, we'll see about that. Uh, another good spot. Let me see. So right around. here I think that work well I still do have some corn on this so I'm gonna actually probably make some more and you want to kind of hide them a little bit but the whole point is that that they're not just loose um, and you just like I said you just don't want to bury it inside the pile inside the uh, the stalks because um, you know um, if uh, the stalk starts to move around because of the wind or from them rustling around on it they'll just fall to the ground and end up in your bushes or the rest of your display um, if you keep it here they're not going to come anywhere near it now um, there is a trade-off that uh, and you'll get used to it but they are mothballs so they do smell so depending on how close your display is to your house you're gonna if you put a bunch of them in you're gonna really get uh smell the mothball smell for a while until it starts dissipating but uh the animals are extremely sensitive to it so once uh, uh once it'll kind of go away from you it'll still be potent enough to keep them away so uh try this and i think you'll see you have some good successes you want to if you want to put it around your pumpkin maybe put one around the stem on the top so where nobody can see it and uh, same thing around any other plants that uh, they're getting at. But uh, it's the corn that we find is the, uh, the uh, thing that they love the most. So I hope this little tidbit helps you protect your fall display. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. 
And if you know any friends that are dealing with garden critters, please let them know about the series and let them know about the channel. Until next time, remember, yes we can. Uh.